Number 39, integrated concepts. An LC circuit with a 5 picofarad capacitor oscillates in such a manner as to radiate at a wavelength of 3.3 meters. Letter A, what is the resonant frequency? All right, so basically once ever they tell you the wavelength and you want to find their frequency, and they tell you that they're, you know, that there's a, uh, a type of basically uh, radiation that's happening, all right, all we need to do really is use this formula, that the speed is going to be, speed of the wave that is, is equal to the frequency multiplied by the wavelength. And in this case, it's going to be called the resonant frequency. So to find the resonant frequency, it's just going to be the velocity of the wave divided by a wavelength. Velocity of the wave is speed of light, right? Divided then by the wavelength here. So the wavelength is 3.3 meters. So the resonant frequency is simply going to be now, we'll do 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 3.3. .3. So this is 9.09 .09 times then 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh boy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Good. And that's in terms of hertz. Times 10 to the 7th hertz. All right. That takes care of that. And now it's asking, oh, letter B. What inductance? Oh boy. So we got an LC circuit. This goes way back, right? So we can use our resonant frequency uh, formula here. This is going to be equal to 1 over 2 pi multiplied by the root of the inductance multiplied by the capacitance. So I want to find that inductance, so cross multiply this term on over. We got to get rid of the square uh, root, so we got to square both sides, okay? And then once we do that, we got to divide out then the capacitance to find L. So divide the capacitance on L, just like that. All right? And this is what you should also be practicing. You should also be practicing how to get faster with this. All right? All right, so now, this is going to be 1 over now 2 pi multiplied by the resonant frequency of 9.09 .09 times 10 to the 7th. That whole thing is going to be squared, then divide that by the capacitance. And they told you it was 5 picofarads, but we need that in farads, so multiply that by 10 to the minus 12th. And there we go. So it's going to be 1 divided by now, parenthesis, 2 pi times then that answer. Okay. Square that result, and then divide that by 5 times 10 to the minus 12th. And the inductance here is going to be 6.13 times 10 to the minus 7th, and that's in terms of Henry's, all right? And uh, if you need a refresher, that's what we did on the la in the last chapter, chapter 23. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Be well.